Well, his wife is way up in the polls. Her campaign is taking nothing for granted, even though her husband sounds like he's losing his voice. Former President Clinton gave two speeches here in Jacksonville today. First, he went to the Iron Workers headquarters on the north side, then Zion Hope Missionary Baptist Church in northwest Jacksonville. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway was there. To roaring applause, President Bill Clinton smiling and shaking hands on his way to the podium. As Hillary Clinton continues to stump for votes ahead of Tuesday's primaries, the former president is hoping to cover some extra ground for the campaign, telling the story of his wife's journey to where she is now and drawing contrast to her rival Bernie Sanders. Most of her life, she has not been in elected office. If that were the test, you'd have to vote for her opponent. He's been in elected office much longer than he has, she has. But she has walked the walk for a very long time. President Clinton was quick to point out his wife's decades of community service and her experience as a senator and secretary of state. He also wasted no time going after Donald Trump, calling out his suggestions of a ban on Muslims, a wall along the Mexican border, and violence at Trump rallies. All this screaming and yelling and pushing people around at these rallies, all of these terrible things that are said, it's been a long time of coming. You, you, can't, you can't try to win votes on false pretenses. The former president pointed to his own experience, saying he knows what the job of president requires and that no one is more equipped for it than his wife. I've had the job. I understand the economy. And I am telling you, we can grow together again. But to do it, we need a world-class changemaker. And she is the best. I have ever known. Be out there for him tomorrow. God bless you. That report from Ethan Calloway. Senator Marco Rubio was also campaigning here in Jacksonville today. He stopped by Channel 4 and was interviewed on the morning show. A short time later, he greeted supporters at Maple Street Biscuit Company in San Marco. Tark's joining us now with more on Rubio's campaign stop. Tark. Well, you know, typically a presidential hopeful finds some safety and some security in their own home state. Marco Rubio knows he's got a lot of work cut out for him with Donald Trump leading in the polls by double digits. But Marco Rubio said today he remains confident and he remains very hopeful that Florida voters will come out tomorrow and do something big in the polls for Super Tuesday Part 3. In fact, Rubio told us today that he's expecting Florida voters to shock the country tomorrow at the polls. He started right here at Channel 4 today as part of a four-city campaign stop pointing out that 10 percent of voters still remain undecided. Rubio says that is a huge number in this race for the Republican nomination and he says turnout is important tomorrow. Rubio also stumped in San Marco with Mayor Lenny Curry saying that he's the candidate who can unite the country compared to his competitors. We are a country of people with a lot of different opinions and we should continue to debate those opinions and we should continue to argue over those opinions. But we cannot have a country where everybody hates each other, where everyone's at each other's throat, where we can't have an honest and serious debate about public policy without it resorting to name calling or worse, devolving into violence. Going to the election tomorrow, uh, Marco Rubio's campaign, they're banking heavily on South Florida voters. They're hoping to really gain some momentum in South Florida compared to, to Donald Trump, uh, where he is getting most of his support, according to uh, the latest numbers from Central Florida and North Florida. I'm Tarek Miner, Channel 4, The Local Station.